Hello, how are you? I hope you're well. So, sorry this is a bit late. Um, I really wanted to soak in as much as, uh, so much for Sardis as I could before talking about it. And let me tell you, I have had this album on repeat. <laughs> I'm honestly a little surprised at how much I really love this album. Like, <sighs> got a text from my therapist. I was a little worried that the album was gonna fall flat because the first two songs that they released, Love From The Other Side and Heartbreak Feels So Good, I like loved them so much. So I was a little worried because like the album had big shoes to fill, but no, they made an incredible album with, dare I say, no skips. Even the spoken word poetry, things. Uh, how I've missed Pete Wentz's iconic emo voice reading me poetry. Oh, how I've missed the metaphors. I honestly, I can't pick a favorite. I love them all. Each song has something that I adore, like the bass opening in Hold Me Like a Grudge and oh my gosh, the tone of the guitar in Fake Out. I can't. I can't. It's so good. They're so good. And Heaven, Iowa. Oh my gosh. I feel like, like as I'm listening to the album over and over again, each song that starts, I'm like, oh, this is my favorite. No, this is my favorite. Oh my gosh, I love this one too. And does that make sense to anybody? I genuinely am like in love with each song. And I love that they're using real instruments again, like again, the bass and the guitar. Um, I think they've found like a nice mixture of using real instruments and electronic sounds, you know? And I love that they're not trying to mm -hmm, like, conform or fit into like the old Fall Out Boy rock sound or like a pop punk sound. They're very themselves, you know? Like Fall Out Do is such a unique album. It has such a specific sound to it. And while I'm not saying so much for Stardust sounds like Fall Out Do, I think they're similar in the way that they're very themselves. Does that make sense? Fall Out Do happens to be one of my favorite albums. So there's that. And this, oh my gosh, it's so good. Okay, anyway, Patrick Sun's voice incredible, amazing. I'm always so impressed by him. Again, Heaven, Iowa is a great example of how skilled he is, how talented he is. The lyrics, I love the lyrics as well. We get some like classic follow boy lines like, um, what is there between us if not a little annihilation? <laughs> I love him so much. Honestly, very relatable to this album. Like the whole thing about quarantine blues and throwing this year away like a bad luck charm. I'm willing to we can throw away every year like a bad luck charm. I like, I really don't have anything bad to say about this album. I'm so impressed. They made an incredible no skip masterpiece of an album. I could go on about like each song. Like, um, I, I keep trying to pick a favorite, but I can't like uh, 10 years. I'm not gonna, I, I don't know how to pronounce I mean, I kind of do, but I'm scared I'm gonna get it wrong. So I'm just gonna call the song 10 years. But like that song is so, and um, so much for Sardis, this song. I love, okay, if you haven't, make sure you listen to this album in order at least once because I mean, it all like fits very nicely together. And then so much for Sardis, the song like wraps it up so nicely. Also, if you haven't, make sure you look at the, the uh, posters that they're making. I think they're all on their Instagram and YouTube and stuff, but we love supporting artists. Tell me your thoughts on So Much For Stardust. Do you like it? Do you love it? You should because it's good. They could play, they honestly could play this album in its entirety at the concert and I would fully 100% support it. So hopefully that happens. Hopefully it's like an eight hour long concert where they play all of their songs. Okay, I'm being stupid now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see y'all later.